So, uh, yeah, back back those days in in, in Romania, the, our our industry, the shared service and, and BPO industry was um, highly dynamic in a, in a super growth path, and uh, the competition between the different players was was super strong about talents and uh, simply to deal with the growth. And we, as companies, started chasing for each other's personal were kind of competing against each other in an environment that was not not perfect for us and, and the industry was not well known. So how did the idea of an association come up? It started with the fact to say, okay, somewhat we need to transport our interests as an industry, as a strongly growing industry, into the market in Romania and, and into different dimensions. One dimension was to get the required support uh, from from state side, reduce bureaucracy, and uh, um, on the other hand side to to attract more talent for the industry instead of competing about the few uh, people that were aware of the industry. And for that reason, the idea came up to form an association that goes out, gives publicity, and and promotes the industry and uh, its interests. And, and that was how we came up in Romania with a group of the leading companies in this, in this business uh, to, to build and, and form an association. That was the basic uh, driver for it at uh, that time back in uh, uh, 2012, 2013. It was uh, like a sort of a vision, right? So like uh, 10, 12 years ago, if you recall, um, Romania was not very visible in many of this kind of, you know, uh, uh, research firm uh, reports, right? So Everest Group barely had a couple of information about Romania. Other uh, research firms were not even mentioning us. So for us, uh, it was like, you know, this kind of wish to reach what our colleagues from Poland managed to do and make our country visible in, uh, in such, you know, reports and also make sure Sure that all potential investors are aware of the opportunities that are available in uh, in Romania, right? So we wanted to show what uh, the local sector is capable to do. We wanted to show all these kind of you know possibilities that are uh, present in our cities. All the companies that are already operating successfully in this landscape, and uh, of course it was uh, you know like a, like a long journey ahead of us. But uh, definitely we, we started with this kind of purpose to make, you know, what's happening and what is possible in Romania more visible for the outside world. So 11 years ago, huh? so that's a long time, industry was uh, at uh, its early development uh, stages. Well, we were figuring out to say so, yes, yeah, so what this is all about, what the business industry is all about. Tremendous development. If you just look at the figures since then, so, uh, I mean, we have double or even triple, yeah, so also the presence in Romania, the number of companies uh, tremendously uh, went up. Uh, and then we made in the end of the day, and I'm sure uh, ABSL have had a massive contribution to the development of this industry, yeah, so attracting companies, yes, yeah, so own the Romanian market. It came also with uh, some disadvantages, uh, higher competition on the labor market on one hand, but on the other hand, yeah, so I think uh, looking uh, overall, it's really fantastic for the, the economy of this country, yes, yeah, so for the um, standard of living, yes, yeah, so for the population in particular in the uh, large cities of uh, the country. ABSL during the last years had uh, quite a few milestones. Um, of course, one of the most important is uh, when it was actually founded and uh, we initiated the first project. Then um, uh, another important milestone was when we gained some awareness and there were companies in the market actively reaching to us and uh, you know, wanting to become members. And that was a validation that we were on the right path. Um, a few years later, uh, there was an important milestone when uh, the whole team was changed. So uh, we had an amazing team, uh, but they, they found roles uh, within the companies, which are some of the members, obviously. Uh, but uh, it was a huge challenge because there was a new board of directors. There was a, new, a completely new team, an amazing team, obviously. Uh, and some of that team is still, uh, still running shop. So yeah, I think we did good back then. 
Uh, it was also a very important time because we uh, actually needed to restart and uh, kickstart, if you want, the relationship that we had with some of the partners, with, uh, with our key partners, with, uh, uh, with the members. And um, it was very obvious to us that uh, we needed to, to expand the program that we had in terms of uh, what we needed to achieve, in terms of uh, uh, maybe an update of the market and see how much of that we cover. Uh, to call ourselves relevant for, for the whole industry, because that's what, uh, what the aim of ABSL was from the very beginning, right? becoming super re relevant and important for the whole business sector, uh, business services sector. So that was also a very, very important milestone. Um, I would say, um, uh, although I, I wasn't really part of that, uh, uh, during the last two years, uh, it was a major shift. Um, and uh, judging by that, I think we, uh, the team did, uh, did amazing because it was a, a major overnight shift, uh, not only for the companies, but for an association which is virtually bringing together all the major players in the industry. Although not necessarily a milestone, but a long-lasting project, and I think one of the, the major pillars and uh, attraction points of ABSL is the annual report. Um, obviously, it grew in terms of uh, coverage, it grew in terms of importance during these last 10 years. Uh, but now I would dare to say that it's one of the, uh, the reports that uh, uh, people uh, happily share information for and uh, eagerly await the results. Um, it's uh, probably the, uh, the most accurate report you can find in, in terms of data uh, intelligence in the market today for the business sector. I remember during the first week of the COVID lockdown that um, our association mobilized and defined a, a communication cell. We had a WhatsApp group, just like everybody else. But we've involved right the, all the right people there, you know, like lawyers, experts in, in work legislation. And I believe everybody received an answer to their questions. There were hundreds of questions in, in the first few weeks. Um, everybody had a voice. Everybody received a solution to their inquiries. And I think that's where ABSL shined as, at, at bringing the community together during that initial crisis. My thoughts about the present, uh, both in terms of what the association looks like and uh, what the industry looks like in, in, in Romania, uh, are very clear. The industry is growing. It grow, grew, grew, in fact, even in the first and the second year of pandemic and continues to grow these days on a more accelerated pace. Uh, and it, this will not stop. The only limit to this growth can be our ability to attract and to retain talent. And I, when I say this, it's about the whole industry, not ABSL. <laughs> ABSL, on the other hand, ABSL is doing, in my opinion, quite well. Uh, ABSL is increasing the, the number of members year on year. ABSL is providing more and more events, uh, more more uh, data intelligence, data data mar market uh, data market intelligence. ABSL is playing; it's really playing this role of uh, on one voice in the in the industry. So I can see growth in, on both cases, both ABSL and uh, business services in Romania. One last thing about on, on this topic. Uh, in the last, let's say, one year and a half, maybe two years, uh, we've noticed not only uh, an, an increased interest from investors in Romania business services, because we are meeting investors anytime we are approached by, by them, but also we've seen a, a growing interest from companies uh, members, non-members, which will, or they became our member, uh, on how to transfer more processes, for instance. And then they they needed specific sessions, knowledge sharing, sharing sessions uh, organized by, by ABSM. So these are at least two indicators, apart from the, the figure, the 5%, 10% growth, which we, we can, of course, estimate uh, these are also two, in, two, two important indicators to, to tell us that the industry and EBSL is, is growing.